this time, uh, hopefully we'll make it farther. I went back to the smoke just now, and uh, I put out the fire again. It actually filled it up the lamp there, so we were doing that correctly. And now it's actually giving us the smoke card itself, which will really help with our uh, bone cards. Should we end up picking more of them up? Because as of recently, the bone cards have not been fantastic for us. I do relish snuffing out your excess candles before a boss. Perhaps you will now enjoy it as much as I do. Well, it'll certainly help to have the extra bones. We pulled the teeth out of this guy for a little bit of extra teeth to begin with. Uh, Goo Man, you got anything new to say? Yeah, yeah, use the camera to take a picture of him, and then, uh, well, we can do what he does to us, I guess. What does that end up accomplishing? I don't know. If you're wondering about that painting, I've seen stuff come out of it. Now, only if the cards are aligned just right. So we got to get a squirrel and a coyote. Okay. So basically, we just need a coyote. <laughs> Easier said than done. Bullfrog, wolf, kingfisher. The adept kingfisher. Slippery hunter. Give me the wolf. The wolf is just like a solid all-around all -around card. We've got a full set of items at the moment, so it makes sense for us to go to the right then. The trapper is going to want us to grab pelts, but I don't have any any, <laughs> any teeth to actually get uh, any pelts from outside of the one he gives us for free. And these guys, this one's a power one. Turning you into 3-2, so you eventually become a one-cost wolf. I don't mind that. It always says just about the same thing every time we go through those, and uh, if you've seen the other episodes, then you already know what they're talking about, so... Just, you know, we might end up skipping through their dialogue now. Longhorn has flying defense. He's gonna attack to the left and the right, in which case he can attack my people. It's only for one damage though, so as long as they got more than one, we're good. Uh, we don't have a totem yet, so our squirrels are not what they were last time, which is very unfortunate because our squirrels were extremely strong. Like made life beyond easy. And that's about all I can do this turn, unless I want to sacrifice the, the stoat to get the bullfrog, and then I could get the stink bug out. Which I could do. Could have done that in a better way, had I thought it through farther, in which case I could have had the stoat out instead of the bullfrog. That stings. He's over there now, so... You took the film roll, I did. Is that correct? My plan nears its moment of truth. But she must defeat him first. Alright, so it seems like we're pretty much stunted until we can actually beat this guy. Which, uh, easier said than done. We can go ahead and now get rid of the old frog and then put you here because he's not going to be able to attack you, in which case you can kill him off and we can keep moving on from that. The wolf itself, you nope. Know, just take our overkill damage where we can get. Wasn't an insane amount by any means, but it was something. The Dauntless Bloodhound, it leaves the opposed new creatures when they're An omnipresent mole, it burrows and emerges to block any lane born attack. And the elk, the flighty elk, it moves after attack. 2 4 for a 2 cost. You do kind of move around, which is not exactly ideal. The mole for just taking hits is not bad, although I guess at that point I'd rather have the Bloodhound. I think I would rather just have the Bloodhound. Gives me a little more damage, but you can also potentially tank a hit or two. We can get ourselves a totem now as well. The decrepit woodcarver appeared before you. She moved. Yeah. Flying defense. Is that for canines? 
airborne or flying defense? Airborne, airborne squirrels? Uh, well, I don't suppose I can go back on that, huh? All right, well, that was probably not the greatest thing, although I suppose if they're not getting attacked, that means I've got a better chance of realistically keeping them alive long enough so that way I can actually make use of them. There's another totem thing off to the left, which if we can get the infinite sacrifice of squirrels again, life will become so much easier for us. So we're definitely going to try and take advantage of that. We need to get... Indeed we Great flaw. So you get a fur on your... That's not ideal, but all right. Squirrel here. Get rid of the squirrel. Put you over here. Use me wisely. I'll try at the very least. Certainly a solid hit to start off with, I've always have. Nice top deck. I mean, you know, except for the fact that I don't have anything to, you know, get you out of there with. But we're still doing more damage than what they do, so. Now we're just doing. Well, actually, we're not doing damage now because he's still more. Alright, we got a bit of a problem here with uh, pulling all the blood cards and then having nothing to sacrifice, so I, I really should have rolled for squirrels already. Is basically what that means. I was trying to be greedy and you know, I just didn't work out. Let's put down the stove. It's a little misplay like you would know. It's all just a ploy, so that way we eventually get enough to where we can overkill this guy. Copium, that's nice. So we're about to hit him for three, which is not enough to kill him just yet. I concede, and nope. Not how this works. I've got overkill damage I need the hit, so if you want to mind, you know, just dying off and break. Throw the squirrel down. The reason we throw the squirrel down is so that way we can get the wolf out for cheaper. We're still, we're still only one cost as well, so we can throw a gap. That's going to give us some extra overkill. You're going to do more damage than stink. Although I don't have enough to actually send you out, but that's fine. Right. We'll just get a little bit more of extra overkill. That was some good teeth gain right there. A different totem or increasing one of our cards. I feel like a different totem is just better for us. One, two, or bones. At this point, I feel like bones ends up being better for us. The alpha. The alpha male. Alright. Well, see if we can get a better. Come on, something better. Move to the right. Squirrels that move to the right or fly? So that kind of flying, right? That just gives us a different uh, totem bottom piece to use in case we ever want to, although I'm not necessarily sure that we would, but eh, you know, find a use for it. Mole in the prong horn. Thankfully, that only does one damage. Not that I can really make use of anything here. Put down the squirrel. The squirrel will stay there and be alive for now, so we can eventually work our way up to the wolf here. Because we're going to need it. So now we can pick up another squirrel. That we're just going to use the sacrifice for the wolf because now the wolf can get rid of the pronghorn here for us. And the mole can't block it because it's still chilling right there. The wolf, we don't have anything for it yet, which is fine. Yes, I think you got me this time. I, I don't know. I mean, you're like two. You're really like two hits away from winning here, friend. 
but uh, if you truly believe I got you, you know. But I want the overkill, so you know, I'm just gonna make that happen here. Oh man, we're gonna get a ton of overkills. Hoping I could get the alpha out of the way, so that way I would have been able to to upgrade our other wolf here just enough before he ended up leaving. So if I take the bullfrog, put the bullfrog here, and I'm ready. Alright, well, I'll take the overkill. It's still a good overkill, like, don't get me wrong. Another totem exchange? One of these days, we're going to re-roll the infinite, so it'll be beautiful. The metal slipping bag, a minor terror. The adder for the insta-kill. I mean, insta-kill would be... It would be nice, especially if I could get rid of some of these annoying things. There's a usage for an insta-kill. There's definitely... There's definitely some opportunities I can make with it. We have so many totems. They go underwater? I don't know if that's going to mess with me being able to sacrifice them, is the thing. Flying, moving to the right. I mean, I guess in theory it could keep them alive more. Although, the flying kind of already did that to a certain degree, but alright. That smoke, it is great indeed. So our version of the smoke turned in the greater smoke, which actually does damage now and has HP. Get past a massive empty bowl surrounded by heaps of unidentifiable giblets and scant bones. It seemed the bowl was designed for a dog. But what earthly hound would require a meal of that size? Where's that hound? Alright, so you always start off with the meal and the coyote. So we could go greater smoke, and we can immediately kill him for the wolf, but that will give us our bones immediately. Enter requires two to one, and that is just all sorts of unfortunate. We'll place the squirrel down early. The pack wheel is locked into place at the moment, so we don't want to kill off the coyote just yet. choice in the way that things have uh, ruled out so far, but we've done enough damage earlier, so this that's going to guarantee that we end up killing off the mule. Just pop that mule. You said it now. Just throw you in the way. Keep me alive. Hope we'll see about that. Dang, man. You know, well, I mean, Maybe you should put down a mule card that gives your other opponent cards as a result of it. I mean, a crazy thought, I know. I actually need I need the coyote, and then I need a squirrel right here on top of the stone, so I gotta get rid of the stone at some point. But then that's gonna be in the way. Alright, so I put... Then if I put it in, then it ends up dying. Then it requires two. I have a different amount of scrolls, so I can always get more scrolls back. That's not an issue. Take some less damage. 
still have plenty of damage on him. Okay, just making sure. So in theory, we should be able to put our coyote here just fine, in which case next turn we can put down our squirrel. And then it should be good. Or, oh no, because it's got to be empty on my side as well. As a, as, although they should both die now as a result. No, the one over there. They really got to think that part out. Why did I just do that? still make something. We still have a whole other part of the fight to go through. I should have definitely let him kill stuff off because now I'm just going to do this. Which is going to get rid of my guy. Oh yeah, I'm done. Alright. Well, it doesn't have to be on this fight in particular. some of my arrows for me. We can put down the alpha. And then by putting down the alpha, I can put down the squirrel. It's going to move him back. And if I grab the bullfrog, He's still gonna die until the attack will be out of the way. And he's only at one cost, so I can get rid of the school. He gets another phone card back. So he's only gonna have one HP, so we can get rid of him later. That's not too big. Batter's gonna get rid of that for us. We go ahead and take another squirrel here. I knew I shouldn't have thrown down the coyote until I had it in place. Down a squirrel again, which then we could replace with a worker in. Not that it really matters. I mean, I guess we had another bone out. Batter's gonna give us an extus to a squirrel, which we don't necessarily need. I mean, there's nothing we can really increase anymore. Well, I guess we can actually do this. We put the squirrel down there, then we get rid of the squirrel and the worker. And then we use the alpha to buff it, and now we're doing like, like four extra overkill or something along those lines. Our teeth are falling out of the bowl. Like at this point, we actually should go to a, uh, a health man. Choose carefully. Canine hooved reptilian feathered insectoid. The amalgam is all. And the geck and the log elk. I have no words for this freak of nature. Sprinter as well as what else? Here, touch and death. When a card bearing the sigil damages another creature, that creature perishes. Could make use of the uh I mean an insta-kill would be nice because. All they have to do is just attack and then they kill. He only has two HP. But the amalgam is just solid at 3-3. Three, three. I think we go amalgam here. Three of the prospector's unhinged gaze. You look ahead. Oh yeah, sign. As the air grew humid, your boots became harder to pull from the mud. The dank smell of tripping water invaded your nostrils. It reached the wetlands. Blood cards with the pack. Not that we used anything from the pack, so we may as well increase the strength of our cards. We got me, which is 1 HP. We're a mantis god, but also... Uh, I don't remember what this hand card thing does. I think it's like it, you do the damage based on the amount of cards you have in your hand or something. The Stalwart Snapper, a near impenetrable defense. I mean, we gotta take me, right? I mean, isn't that the whole thing for, about us being a unique card is the fact that we can actually, you know, do things? Or do I better things? 
increases power? Well, I gotta do it to myself if I roll up, but apparently I've been done. Alright, well. Somebody that can do more damage. You're what, 2-2 two, two right now? I mean, I can't even tell. It's just too dark over there. 2-3? I mean, that's... Makes it a bit more useful. Definitely could have been better, but it's not like it's terrible. We got the worker and the ringworm, so they... <laughs> He's not doing nothing this turn, is basically what that's saying. Put you down, get the stunts and wolf out. And good for now. The ants are going to start the stack up, so i got to get rid of them. I, it should make us a 2-1 question mark? Yeah, okay, so it does work off the right hand. But we've got Mantis God power, so... So our guard actually scales off of our hand, which is interesting. We're grand, the diligent and its strength is proportionate to the size of its company. Raven and Lewis. A 1-1 one, one with different stuff. I, I just, I'm not convinced that Lewis is all that great. Like... I'm just not convinced, you know? Like, I'd rather have the Raven. At least I've got some flying that I can work with. Is that another totem thing? A totem, get rid of a card. Or a pack. We've gone to so many totems. We Is there any cards we just truly want to get out of the game right now? We really don't have that many cards to begin with, though. I mean, if we wanted to get rid of anything, what would we get rid of? I guess maybe the bullfrog, but that's like... If we can just make our squirrels better, then we'll be good. Do I know what the one does? Ah, bull... Burrower squirrels. Or squirrels just make you lose one power. That's not bad either. I mean, the squirrels at that point would just mitigate damage, while this also mitigates damage. This would also block in multiple locations. I feel like that one's just slightly better. Makes our squirrels much more usable than what our last set was. Kingfisher, double Kingfisher Coyote, okay. We want a squirrel here. A squirrel can turn into a gold frog if we wanted to, or we can just leave it as is. I think we just leave it as is. Because of the burrower, it will force it over there. The amalgam picks up the burrower. Oh, so it gains all the benefits from all of the totems as a result. Interesting. Unfortunately, I feel like we actually gotta use some of our equipment here, so that way we don't get absolutely wrecked. How much HP I got left? Only three? Oh, boy. So this would get rid of the coyote, in which case I would take two, in which case I would have... One left. That's fine for now. Two, if I did three, it would just go even. A great draw? I mean, you do cost bones, which makes life a bit easier. If I put you right here, then you should do no damage, in which case we would take two, but I'm going to deal one, so we'd deal one, and then we would, st and then we'd still lose. Uh, Alright, so if I get rid of you, and I get rid of you, then I go over here, I can kill this one. Oh, 
All right, the burrower only works on land units, which is why I didn't do anything with him. Me! Oh, beautiful. I needed me. And we got Mantis Scott on us. And they're all underground, so I get to do full damage to it. Well, that certainly could have gone way worse. Uh, good thing Mantis God is just, uh, you know, broken. <laughs> Jeez. Skink, River Snapper, or Lewis. They really want me to take Lewis, you know. But he's not, he's just not good. Lewis the thing. I mean, just because it's a unique card, I'll take it, but I'm not convinced that it's good. It's just a thing. Uh, let's, let's go to the Mushroom Man again. Although I don't think we have double of any cards, right? You have no duplicate cards. Take one of ours. We will use it next time. The wolf, the amalgam, or the bullfrog. Oh, beautiful. All right, that actually worked out real nice. The amalgam. Is, ah, it's a good card. It's just the ability to take on the additional traits of others. This is a solid card in general. Bees. Bees with burrow? Yeah, okay. I think we just win? Like, do we not just win here? <laughs> yeah, so that's four overkill, plus we instantly won. Hmm. Fair and balanced? <laughs> Pack. Do we need a pack? We've only used one item. We don't. We don't need a pack. We can potentially make our card stronger here too. Uh, right. we need help. There's something to be said about that, especially now that we can just immediately sacrifice them and give those effects to somebody else, assuming he rolls up. She did. Flying to. <laughs> oh, flying to this guy. Oh, man. He just instantly win any fight where I draw him first hand. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that sounds pretty good. I mean, at worst, it's a three. And it just goes. Oh, man. If we roll in first try, like, just everything is dead. Yeah, beheld an immense man slouched behind a mucky pot. He appeared to be tearing hunks of flesh from a fish corpse. Some chunks were thrown back to the pond where a few ghoulish birds snapped them up. And some were sloppily pushed into the hulking man's mouth. Great. You bring fresh, fresh fish, easy juice. Kingfisher off to a uh, really easy start. Alright, scroll down. Stunted Wolf, get that damage going. I could throw down the Greater Smoke, get the bones, sacrifice the two, get the Pronghorn. We're still gonna get two damage. It'll be one less damage. We'll also have one less thing on there for when the. Uh, the bait comes around. I think we're okay for right now. Snailfish arch. Yeah. Squirrel here. Then greater smoke. And we go pronghorn, greater smoke squirrels. So that way we get all those bones. We get the pronghorn. These all should attack before he does, which means that this fight's over. Our pronghorn can not attack the one in front of itself, so we should only be breaking one thing of bait bucket here. Iguanas? Iguana 
this world, then we can get rid of the prong for one. But I'm sure we necessarily want to do that. The amalgam. Did I even steal a big bucket? I doubt Although I can get rid of both of you for the amalgam, but then none of the bait buckets are broken, and then we just wreck you wreck. I mean, this is that just how it goes. We should just win here because that bait bucket's not going to be there in time. Alright, we'll get wrecked. Man, as soon as you figure out that second part of that fight, it's just that easy. You not perish quite yet. You don't say. Perhaps one of these will entice you? Uh, we'll see about that. Ooh, right, ooh, one day. One day. <laughs> Mantis God? Yeah. Yeah, you know what, Mantis God? I mean, that's just a given. I mean, how are you gonna throw Mantis God in my face and then not have me take it? That would just be an insult to you. You'll need another map. It's true. The relief of the fresh air quickly gave way to a bone chilling, a bone shaking chill. You guessed that the path ahead as the snow increasingly obscured it. You had the climb to the snow line. I don't think anything would have happened around the room yet, so uh, let's go ahead and go through this. Three drawn cards must cost at least five bones. Cost four blood. Must have at least four power. I mean, if we pull one amygdala or the wolf or something, or I feel like we have a decent amount of power in our neck. At least for this. Hey, amygdala. Zero for me. I mean, that... You think it would take into account the other two, in which case it would be like two power, but not in this. But thankfully, we pulled the Migdalum, so it's all good. I passed the drive. Oh, let's go. Bullfrog with thorns, turkey vulture, and bulls. I mean, it's a 3 3 and it protects itself, so that's not bad. A grizzly that evolves. Yeah. Hopefully the evolution doesn't actually nerf it instead. That would be so troll after all that. We only used one item there. Go back to the cave. Get rid of a card. Or power up a card. Potentially get another card. Power up two cards, in fact. I think this way actually ends up being better for us. HP plus two. Uh, myself with extra HP. Uh, I'm just gonna have to go with the yeah on that one. I mean, Mantis God would be just fine for the HP too. Us being flying is so much better. Alright, so you lower all my attack power by one with the cards he's got. Fair enough. Squirrel into stunted wolf. Hey, my moose has got seven health. Jeez, why do you have seven health? All this blood and nothing, and no blood that heals that. Yeah, that Bull's going to cost me time because it's super... Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, well... This is exactly work, and then anything I put down is going to get molded now. Uh, Mantis God? Oh, baby. Well, he can't block all the attacks if that's the case. I think I have to steal the the mule or the moose buck at this point it's not really what i want to use i imagine there's so much better use for it 
but I don't think I have much of a choice. You know, we'll try and save it. We can also potentially get that eyeball back again. I don't know if that's actually going to make a difference for us at all. But, uh, potentially be helpful here. Next turn, then, I could throw down Mantis God. That one mole's about to get out of the way, in which case we could do damage there. Mantis God, because I don't believe it should be able to block every single attack from it. And if it does, I mean, touche at that point. I don't know what to say. I mean, the mule should be attacking my wolf, in which case I shouldn't be taking damage to it. The mole actually blocked every single attack. You've got to be joking. The mole actually blocked every single attack. So, Joe. Alright, well. I kind of have to take the moose at this point. Just so that way I can actually live. I think I can just get rid of the moose here. The grizzly? No. Can I not sacrifice the moose? I can. What is back here? What even is this? I can't even tell. That mole can't have much HP. Three, that just is worse. So. Alright, we're gonna do two. He's only gonna do one damage because the moose moved us out of the way. This really should not have gone as bad as what it did. I really don't have enough bones for that. Alright, we lived. It cost us way more than it should have. But we lived. So you're gonna do... You're gonna kill Mantis God. Which is unfortunate. But we also won't lose this result of it. Of course, we don't have Mantis God actually yeah, which is unfortunate. We can throw down the Alpha. Then we can throw down the Squirrel. Then we can throw down... <laughs> Definitely should not have been as bad as what it was, but man. Alright, well, I don't see... Is there any reason ever to not pick the special eye once you get to find the special eye? Like, am I crazy for thinking that? Uh, Wolf's maggots. Inevitable maggot. They will lurch forth from your hand when, when creatures are killed. Or the rape egg. I think we want Corpse Maggot, because it sounds like it just plays out of our hand without us necessarily having to use it. What do we need for this? The Coyote? Were we ever offered it a Coyote and I just missed it? I feel like no, but I also don't quite remember. Plus one power. Man, this god with extra powers, like the way if I can if it showed up and it did. Uh, yeah, Mantis God with extra power, please. Man, so many just card upgrades on this side of the map. I'm all full. We don't have anything going into the boss fight, though. Mole Man and Moose Man. So just some thick boys here. Squirrel over here, so that way he's out of the way. The Mole Man will move over, but at least we're away from Buck for the time being. Blue's not really doing much for us here. Probably better that I just save up for, like, our Grizzly at this rate. Well, I could keep just pulling squirrels. Although that elk's about to turn into a real elk. 
never getting anything out from the blood in this rig. We're, we're gonna lose and there's actually nothing I can do about it. My hand draw killed me. Because I can... Like, I literally just have to pull a card and hope for the best, too. Oh, you got it. Oh, it's beautiful. Literally the only card that actually could have saved us there. And then we lost it by, what, one damage? <laughs> oh, that's so lame. Oh, that's so lame. Like, I just, ah, uh, jeez. And RNG screwed me. Feels bad, man. They give me more bones, I guess, at this point. Like, I just don't have the sacrifices enough. One, three, three bones. But this is, you can just touch anything and it dies, so your damage doesn't matter. With 3 HP, 3 HP insta-kill, as long as I can keep them alive, that's not bad. I could give him two food, and then he's really not going to be dying. Although, if I could give, like, Mantis God or something some HP. Mantis God HP. Yeah. Because if we can just keep something like Mantis God alive, we're all good. Trapper, but I don't have any coats. Oh no, not again. Why? Double elk bond. At least we can get rid of those more or less immediately. It was when we had. Uh, it was when we had the big elk out immediately where it became an action problem. Of course, I don't have access to it anything useful with my bones here. Of course you just moved out of the way so I can't do anything about it. And I'm waiting on bones so I gotta that one. After burning for the bones I can at least get rid of one of the elves in time. This is getting so bad. I, I, need, I need real cards here. Uh, real swords are bad. I still only have two boats, so I can't do nothing about that. Oh boy, I gotta keep drawing for real cards. Uh, well, I can't do that. I think we're just gonna lose, and there's really not much I can do about it. Like, he's just doing more damage than I can do, and just doing it infinitely, so, uh, yeah. I have nothing to sacrifice, so I can only use bones, and yeah, no, we just, uh, we just lost, and, uh, well, you know, hand RNG is just a beautiful thing, except for when it doesn't work for me at all, and, uh, we lose two in a row because of it, that's, that's real cool, I just, you know, it'd be nice if I could actually, you know, go with my deck a little bit, outside of what, I think there was maybe three parts total where we actually could have gotten rid of a card, but what do I know? Draw a cost? Oh, that's terrible. I mean, two is average, I guess. It's not too bad. Five bones, though. Miss me with that. Two blood. Take its power and its health. Grab yours. Extract the sigils. Insta-kill, three, three? Yeah, yeah, you know, that's pretty good. Alright, well, that was uh, a very disappointing run right at the end there. I'm, I'm slightly upset by it, mostly because of the fact that it really felt that I lost due to the hand draw, and there was nothing I could realistically do about the hand draw, so it feels bad. Your predecessor fell to a mere tone where you prepared the new man. But this rate, nah. What is that? Try the state first. You're starting, Nick. That's about as average as it comes. Feels bad, man. Did anything change around the world? That's already finished. You're still curious. First step would be getting those cards in your deck. Well, Squirrel's already there, so we need an elk. 
Not sure if we could get an elk fawn in Habit Town or not, but it'd be interesting to see if we could. Goo man, you got anything to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use the camera on him. Sick. Thanks for that, friend. Give me all those teeth. As far as I'm aware, there's nothing else we can really do in here. So that's going to be it for this episode. I'm fortunate the way that that went down at the end. I'm just kind of salty at our hand RNG because our cards were there. I mean, we had Mantis God and we had my card that could fly and deal what, like 12 damage or something ridiculous, depending on our uh, how many cards we had in our hand if we were actually, you know, were able to pull the freaking card. But as far as I'm aware, at least so far, I don't think we've actually seen any cards that allow us to, like, scry through our deck or nothing. So you're kind of really just dealt the hand that you're drawn, which makes it very difficult. And, uh, you could run into problems like as you had just seen there, where two times in a row we just didn't get the cards that we needed. So, uh, slightly salty about that. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. It just... Just like when we were playing Sl Slay the Spire, we had runs like that where the, just things would just not go the way that we need to. So there's that. Anyways, appreciate you guys for watching, and uh, we'll try again in the next episode. See you.